Hey, fun, Marcus is in here, so I'm just gonna shoot host, okay? No bad idea. Three, two, one. Cambridge, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cambridge. I'm Galen Collins, and here's what's up. Good morning, Bears, and welcome to the Galen Takeover episode, also known as the best episode of any piece of media ever created. Marcus didn't show up today, so I decided to take over and host this week's episode. To start us off, if you haven't already decided what classes that you want to take, you better figure it out, because students will receive a second round course verification form on Monday, March 7th during B Squared. This will be the final opportunity for students to make changes or to select courses for the 22-23 school year. Completed and signed course verification forms are due back to each student's advisement teacher by Friday, March 11th, 2022. In addition, online contracts for students planning to enroll in FVS or GABS courses are also due on March 11th. Completed AP and Honors waivers are due Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. Speaking of course verification, if you're interested in an art course, keep watching. Do you want to join AP Art next year? Well, first, you have to make an art portfolio. Yo, get out of the way, man. This is my commercial. AP Art wants you to be creative, so your work must consist of your own ideas and style. There's no limit on how many pieces you will need for the course. Scan the QR code if you're interested in joining next year, but you'll have to set up a meeting with Miss Hudson to talk about your work. So, what are you waiting for? Reach out and schedule a time. Maybe you like art, but you like the history behind it even better. If so, we have the perfect class for you. I love art history because... Uh, you can have super fun conversations in art history with Mr. Schuler and all the other classmates, and you don't even have to know a lot about art to do it. And it gives you a fine arts credit and a history credit, so it's like a two-in-one. There are no art skills required for AP Art History. And it's a really fun AP class to fill up your schedule uh, for seniors, especially. The class gives you a bigger historical and cultural view, and more of a visual aspect, and it's super opinion and logical based. If you have any other questions about AP Art History, come to my room, 2801. I approve that message. Shifting gears, we're going to throw it over to Janie Spiller for this week's bottom line. What's up Cambridge? I'm Janie Spiller and this is The Bottom Line. Welcome back. Janie Spiller, you've been expelled and um, you need to come to the front office right now. Welcome back Bears. I'm Galen Collins and this is The Bottom Line. Cambridge sports are heating up right now. Let's get right into it. To start us off, let's take a look at gymnastics. Our girls had a wonderful meet last weekend with a score of 108.55, bringing home the highest score so far this season. Shout out to senior Leah McSweeney and Anjali Roy for bringing home some incredible scores as well as earning her highest all-around score. As well as congratulations to Ella Thurman and Anna Draper for qualifying for state. Tomorrow, they will compete at South Forsyth at 2 p.m. Bring home a win, girls. Our golf teams finally kicked off their season this past week. For the boys, these Bears took home second place from the Lanier High School Invitational last week. On Monday, they will play at the Wolverine Invitation. For the girls, they also played at the Lady Wolves Invite and brought home eighth place. They are now gearing up for their match on March 16th at Buford. Best of luck, Bears. Baseball season has started off strong with some impressive games. This past week, these boys played two great region games against Riverwood, as well as tonight when they'll play them again at six. These boys are led by an impressive group of seniors, and they are looking to make another run at playoffs this year. Go Bears! 
Next for soccer, our Bears have been crushing their season so far. This past week, boys played a challenging game against Chattahoochee. Heading over to girls, they also played Chattahoochee, and tonight they play Westminster starting at 6 p.m. Next week on Tuesday, they both play region games against Johns Creek at home. Girls at 6 and boys at 8. Make sure to show out. Lacrosse has been showing out with some incredible games lately. This past week, girls played two great games against Blessed Trinity and Mill Creek. Monday night, they play Centennial starting at 6 p.m. As for the boys, they also played a great game against Lovett on Tuesday night, and tonight they will be playing in North Carolina at the King of Spring Tournament. To stay updated with how the boys do, make sure to follow Cambridge Athletics on Twitter. Best of luck, boys and girls, at both of your games. Track and field has also been busy at work. Congratulations to our track and field team for doing well at the Wake the Bear Invitational Meet last Saturday. Special shout out to Nick Lachey and Liv Bolenbacher on winning the High Point Champion Award by scoring the most points at the meet. This past Wednesday, they also participated in the dual meet and brought home some wonderful placements and times. Tonight, Varsity will be busy at the Milton Showcase. Best of luck, Bears. This past week, our boys and girls tennis teams enjoyed a wonderful weekend in Nashville. Both teams played Ensworth and Lambert last weekend. They also played impressive matches against Johns Creek, Sequoia, and Marist. They are now gearing up for a match next Tuesday against Chattahoochee starting at 4. We hope to see you there. That's all for this week, Bears. Now back to you, Galen. Thanks, Galen. Congratulations to the Cambridge 2021 through 22 Teacher of the Year, Dr. Michael Matthews. Dr. Matthews teaches math, coaches flag football, and track. Our 2021 through 22 Professional of the Year is Ms. Christine Vicente. Ms. Vicente has been a bookkeeper at Cambridge for five years. Great job, Bears. If you're a junior or a senior, work-based learning could be the perfect thing for you. And I'm so stressed about my job in school. You should try work-based learning. Are you looking for a way to hone your skills while earning experience in the working world? Then work-based learning might be for you. Work-based learning is designed to help students develop skills needed to be successful in the global workforce. The program provides occupational experiences while allowing students to further their education. Requirements for application are that students must be at least 16 years of age. On track for graduation, a good discipline report, two teacher recommendations, and apparent approval. If you didn't know, our CBI Bears are celebrating Exceptional Children's Week. This is a week where they celebrate everyone's unique strengths. They will be having many activities during this week to celebrate. Stay tuned to see how everything went down on our next episode. Prom is coming up, guys, so listen up. Listen up, Cambridge. Prom is upon us. This year's theme is the Night at the Masquerade. Make sure to bring your own masquerade mask. It will be held at the Southern Ballroom Exchange in Atlanta. Tickets are on sale now for $75, but it will increase soon, so act now and get your tickets. Prom night is April 23rd and will be from 8 to 11 p.m. Visit the Cambridge website today to order. Cambridge, please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. If you have an announcement you'd like to submit, please head over to cambridgebearsvideo.com, hover over the bridge tab, and click on request a segment. Also, make sure to follow us on social media at Cambridge underscore Bears underscore network. Next up is this week's prime time. Welcome everyone to possibly the best primetime bit of bridge history. Since Marcus is gone, I'm bringing everyone a special episode of Galen and Garcus. Check it out. Welcome everyone to possibly the greatest bit in bridge history. Since Marcus is gone, I'm bringing everyone a special episode of Galen and Garcus. Hey guys, welcome back to Galen. <laughs> On today's episode of Galen, 
we're gonna have a look at the top five doors. Now, I know what you're thinking. Top five doors, shut up! This is top five doors, you walk through doors every day, you don't think I can do top five doors? We're doing top five doors and you're gonna enjoy it. Number five is the doors from the opening sequence of Monsters, Inc. The bright colors, the nice soundtrack, all of which accumulates in a beautiful sequence for what I consider the second best movie of all time. Yeah, of all time. Only Dora the Explorer, Dora Saves the Mermaids beats it out. And who can forget the fuchsia door that revealed the R in Pixar Studios? Blows my mind to this day. At number four, we have legendary 60s rock band, The Doors. Who can forget their star-studded cast of members? Keyboardist Ray Manzarek, guitarist Robbie Krieger, drummer John Densmore, and of course, lead singer DJ Lance Rock, who would eventually leave the group and spearhead the hit 2007 series, Yo Gabba Gabba. While some say that these doors aren't too good and that they tend to get jammed when you open them, I say to you, have you ever heard Riders of the Storm? Number three, we have Dor. Dory from Finding Nemo. She's played by everyone's favorite person, Ellen DeGeneres. If Ellen wasn't such a nice person, Dory would probably not be a top five Dor. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dory isn't the smartest fish in the sea, but she is the only Dory in the sea. And I think that's pretty neat. At number two, we have this Dor. Pretty cool door. At number one, we have not only the best door, but also the most innovative door. Coming in at our top spot, Dude, we have- sorry, I was fighting demons in there. You ready to- Script? No, it's all good, I already did host and everything. Galen, did you try to make your own show again? Yeah, but dude, this time it's really good. We have to air it. Galen! I don't know how many times I have to tell you, we're not doing the Galen Takeover episode. Every week, you just try to show me this awful episode that you make for yourself, and it, it always sucks. It's not gonna happen. It's never going to happen. It's never going to air. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, the Galen Takeover episode will not happen, okay? Now come help me write the script. Number one is Hotel Revolving Doors. Three, two, one. Here we go! That was pretty good. You stem me on my boy. Ow!